Here at Flame Tree Barbecue, and I got their limited edition. It's Simba and Nala cupcake for Valentine's Day, and this thing has. Hang on, real quick. So I got the Valentine cupcake, which is chocolate cake with milk chocolate ganache filling, vanilla buttercream, and the delicious image of Simba and Nala cuddling. All right, let's check this out. Lots of this buttercream on top. No flavor to that. And thick and hard, so it just probably came out of the fridge. But a lot of icing if you're a big icing fan. I always recommend with these style cupcakes, the ones where they wrap in these paper, just eat it out of the cupcake um, container because otherwise it's a big old mess. Inside there is some sort of filling. Yeah, it almost looks like a caramel, but it looks chocolatey too. Yeah, it's a really good chocolate icing. Good solid cupcake. I would have liked a uh, flavored frosting on the top or buttercream. And I'll try this white chocolate. Good cupcake. I'm gonna give it a solid 3.4. And then over at Isle of Java, I got their kind of version of the Cheshire cattail. This is called the Tiger Tail, and it is a big flat soggy mess but it's delicious this almost has like a caramel glaze which I don't think I remember having on a Cheshire cattail yeah, it's like a and it's a little bit buttery more buttery I was gonna say butterer but I know that's not a word hmm I like this way better I'm glad they give you this paper too because otherwise, if you tried to touch this thing, your hands would be just destroyed. But yeah, I like that a lot. I'm gonna give it a 3.7. That's delicious. And Dale dressed up. That's one of my favorite uh, stuffed animals I got. <laughs> it look awesome dressed up. <laughs> Thank you so much. Whoa. 
This thing's massive. Holy cow. Okay, outside of Dino Bites, this is the Valentine's Day ice cream sandwich. Mammoth two giant chocolate chip cookies, and I think it's haagen strawberry ice cream. There's actual little pieces of strawberry in there too that you can see, which is awesome. So really high-end ice cream. I, was, I thought it was gonna be soft serve, and it wasn't, the guy was scooping hard ice cream. So the little hearts on the outside are just like little sugar hearts, but I'm not crazy because it, it changes the creaminess of the ice cream to this harder texture, like crunchy texture. But ice cream's good. I'm gonna have to savage this thing. Oh, it's actually really easy. It's, it's heavy, but it's easy to lift. And it's not sticky or anything. Whoa, mama. That's legit. That taco and cookie is really good. It has white chocolate chips in it, too. But it's very crunchy because of all the textural stuff. I could have done, I mean, it makes it cuter, but I could have done without it, but it's really good. Mm. It's like fuzzy brownie meets strawberry ice cream. And once again, my hands aren't sticky. And it's not falling apart. This is a well-constructed ice cream sandwich. I'm gonna give it a 3.6. If the texture was a little bit different, it would have been on point. But very cool, and they do a bunch of different seasonal ones here, so don't miss the ice cream sandwiches at Dynabites. So pro tip is actually to take off a piece of the cookie and then scoop some ice cream and that way you can like eat the ice cream, have that texture and then add in cookie as you need it. That is definitely the way to eat this thing. Okay, so here at Starbies or Creature Comforts, they actually spelled my name right and put a little hidden Mickey on my water. Don't pay for water in the parks, always ask for water, and Starbucks water is some of the best because it's filtered. So this is a cherry Valentine's Day cupcake. I'm gonna take this off because it'll be easier to eat. This, oh, this is super, the whole entire icing came off. All right, strike that. Let's try the icing first. That's a vanilla buttercream. And then the inside looks like it's cherries, which I'm not a fan of cherries. But I gotta try them all. Oh my God. Yeah, I regret everything about that. It's like soupy jelly maraschino cherry inside. Ah. Oh. If you like that, it's probably awesome. I don't, so that's a point one. That's no good. And then chocolate brownie. Oh, little tamarinds behind us. There. <laughs> I love their hair. They've got that white hair. Alright, and now. Sorry everybody was freaking out about monkeys, so we had to look. This is the chocolate mousse dome brownie. Oh wow. So the top part, that's all the mousse. I can't tell if that's if that's raspberry or strawberry. I think it's raspberry. That's very good. And then the brownie is super thick and budgy. This is a great combo. You get two different, widely different textures, and that straw or raspberry, and then that chocolate. That's a good brownie. Three point four. I 
love tamarinds. They've got the cutest little faces. <laughs> I love their faces. This one's like rubbing his tail. What's he doing? He's, he's like shaking his tail like a crazy bird. <laughs> so you've been on the, the trail with the tiger on it? It's like crazy out. Oh, look at, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> He's done with that. Is he going back? So funny. Oh, yeah? Oh, he's moving. He's on the move. Well, the other one's going now. <laughs> Eating that branch that's going on the top. Yeah.
awesome over at Pongu Pongu outside of Pandora. So it's apple and desert pear limeade. Very refreshing. The top is a passion fruit boba ball. The problem though, and I wanted to get a picture of it before, but they just float all the rum on the top, so let me just mix it up a little bit, but it's Bacardi on top. Mm. They're really good with the rum. And then the passion fruit, a little bit tart, but not bad. I, I really like that. I'm gonna give that a 3.6. It's good. Mm.